Jimmy B. What's going on, brother? Um, what's going on is I just saw you on primetime. Now, first thing is, when's the last time either of what? us have ever been on primetime and it hasn't been like a rerun from hey, a 90s we made show? It, we made it. We made it. We made it. <laughs> but seriously. It's um, amazing. Could, uh, yeah. like. I, wow. you know, I know we wow. are the we are the internet right now. We are the clickbait right now. But is it true? Is the wow. internet correct? Is is Jason Morgan coming back? I saw you walk through a door. I saw Carly on one side of you. I saw yeah. Kelly. Well, I saw Laura on one side. You saw Kelly on the other <laughs> side of you, and you emerged from a god a, a cave yeah, door. It's, no, it's not a cave door. But yes, yes, I'm I'm uh I'm officially back. Oh my God, dude. Um, I know. No, so I know. Crazy. Like I know. if I cry, I'm not sure these, these, this camera will pick it up. I but can, I, I can see it. So make it good. <laughs> God, buddy. Oh God. <laughs> some people are crying. Some people are celebrating. That's right. You're doing, right. Both. You're doing both. You're doing Happy both. tears. And like, oh, it's, it's funny. Whenever, oh, whenever man. they announce that Spinelli's coming back, it's like, oh yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm sure no, dude, it's, it's, too. uh, it's, it's amazing. It was yeah. amazing to come back. Um, we try to keep it super low profile and the I building. I was going to say that was pretty successful. Things. Tell me about pretty like, successful. how pretty did they successful. shoot? How did they shoot that? I mean, were you with the, were those three doors? Was everybody there? Well, being like, listen, yeah. man, here's the thing. It's, you know, what, once you start telling makeup, hair, wardrobe, all well, there's these things. 300 it's people hard. in the building. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I mean, you know, it's it's it, it's supposed to be hush hush. But listen, I'm going back in the building, right. so I'm going to see people. It, you can't just drop me in my in, in the dressing room, right? And go and then take me up to stage and shoot something without people noticing, right? So it was it was an incredible. Um, it, it was it, you know it was mixed emotions going back. Of course. You know, but it was an incredible welcoming. I, I, I just, I couldn't, and now I'm gonna get emotional. Just the welcome back was just, just from everybody on the lot. It started yeah. with the people at the gate. Yeah, you know. So. Um, yeah, man. But it was, it was amazing. Yeah. Like I didn't see, I didn't see a lot of actors. Sure. Uh, I think the actors really it was more hush, hush, hush with with the actors. So well, we, we would post it on social and yeah, say, we talk, oh, we, hey, Steve's back. You know what I mean? Well, so we we like to have the we like to have the tea. We like to uh, actors like to be the center of attention. Sure. So if they have big news, sure they do. Sure they do. <laughs> um. So so but yeah, so, the whole process was was awesome, man. Yeah. So I mean, but that but that's so cool for like the announcement to happen on a on a primetime special how the timing of that yeah. is cool in itself i think yeah that i mean that, that was strictly frank's idea so yeah you know all props to him yeah and he he made it happen and yeah. and here we go here we go well here yeah here we are how how you doing and here we are dude i'm doing great you know yeah. i'm just yeah i'm just enjoying this uh this ride of life you right. know, and it's just it's just been incredible because we look, we always know and we talk about this all the time. We always know that there's going to be ups and downs in life and twists and turns. We oh, know this. that's for sure, buddy. We know this. And, and and you know me and you've been with me for a long time and you've seen me and I truly believe it. And I live it 100 percent that if if you can get to a state of gratitude, that gratitude unlocks all. Mm. Right. Even in the toughest times in your life, if you can get to gratitude, you can get through anything. Sure. You know, and that's, and that's why I like, I just, I'm just so grateful. Like, I'm just, I'm so grateful, you know, because life's going to happen to us, whether we like it or not. <laughs> that's, that's life's happening. Yeah. You know, and there's yeah. always the question, does life happen for you or to you? And I believe it's for you, even though it's tough. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, but it's there to help you learn, grow and get better. And that's what I'm just trying to do every single day, man. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And I'm having a, and I live a great life. It's just incredible, man. It really is fantastic. You know, and it's funny because, because after that post about leaving days, right. And we'll get sure. to days in a second. Because, oh yeah. 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 Nothing but love for, for them. But it's interesting because you see the comments and people are already talking. Well, you, well yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, right. they're, they're already, they're already getting into it about he was fired. No, he wasn't, you know, all these things. How could he go back after the GH fired him and all these things? But listen, the good or bad comments are always going to come. 
Well, yeah. And we both know, we both know this. Being in the business for 30 years, you can't give power to comments. No, no. Right? To people's words. Because, first of all, it's not a great idea to um, let external things anyway, circumstances, words, whatever, dictate the internal. Right? And, sure. And for me, I work so hard daily through my faith, my personal development, getting to that place of gratitude to have the peace. So I don't, I don't sweat the small stuff anymore sure. in life. Like sure. I love life because truly today is the only day that we have that we know we have. So why not make it the best day? So for me, like to see all these comments, I, I just want to put it simply. Okay. Yeah. Disney had their mandate. Right. Okay. Uh, they wanted people to get vaccinated. I chose not to. Sure. So we parted ways. And yeah. as you can and as you can see in my video on Instagram from a couple of years ago, whatever. Um, I didn't have any hard feelings. I no. didn't have any ill will because GH, it, it was my family. I was there for so long. I grew up there. I literally grew up there. This show, General Hospital, has enabled me to 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 live such an amazing life. I'm living my best life now. And part of that is because of general hospital. Of course. Right. So I know it's hard for people to believe because a lot of emotions get in there and I understand sure. people get emotional. It was an emotional time in the country, in Absolute, the world. Absolutely. Right. And yeah. people were, you know, at, at odds, but I like to focus on the positives in life. I like to focus on love. I like to focus on gratitude. And I truly believe if you saw my video, and I've said it before, even before that video, when one door closes, another door opens. Yeah. And I 100% believe that, that what, that's what life's about. The door GH at that time closed. Sure. Right? Yeah. Multiple doors opened. I got I to start my, co my coaching business, something that I love. I feel it's my purpose. I have fulfillment. Then Beyond Salem called. And what an experience that was. Right. Right. And we'll get into that. And then days for a year. Right. What an experience that was to see. I don't want to say old friends to see people I knew before <laughs> and crew I knew before and to make new friends. What an experience that is. Right. You know, and yeah. currently that door closed and now this door opens. And again, it's so crazy because yeah. multiple people have brought this video up to me, including yourself, um, about, you know, and you and you and I we're on the road together a lot. We talk a lot. You know that I'm at a point in my life where listen, I love acting. It's it's provided so much for me. Sure. And I feel like, you know, I have some uh two some time three, left. four years left. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so absolutely. I you know, and it's just a feeling right now that I go, yeah, two to three, four years. I don't know. Right. But I feel like I got other plans. I want to do other things. Sure. Right. And in that video, I said, if GH lifts the mandates, I would love to finish my career at General Hospital as Jason Morgan. And now I'm going to do that and I'm going to finish strong. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go. That's I'm pumped. All right. Yeah. I know I touched on a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to let you ask questions. Well, Boom. And, you know, we have a list of things we want to get to, but like sure, we sure. talked, you and I talked privately you know, yeah. last week or whatever, whenever we kind of knew that this may be a possibility. And we were talking yeah. about, cause I mean, you, you talk about like the, you, you think of how like the last few years are going to kind of be told down the line. And, sure. and, and what's so cool about at least this story is yes, there is, there are some twists and turns, but ultimately sure. there's a, there's a beginning, there's a middle and an end. Like you, I mean, we haven't written the end yet, but do you know what right. I'm saying? Like it is, and, and to look at it from just like the way things happen and, you know, like, yes, it was an emotional time, but to, to be able to keep a, I, I keep a connection open to keep, uh, sure. and, and, you know, it, it is your family and there's so many people that, that love you there. And I'm, there's some people that love you everywhere. And, and just, so it's anyway, it's just kind of a, it wasn't, it wasn't easy to get here, but being here now is pretty lovely. Yeah. Look, you know all, what I'm all, pa all paths lead to right now where we're at Yes, in, in life, right? That's what it is. We make choices every single day that lead us to right now. And, and we did talk about this. We talked about kind of like, I don't know, this feeling of 
taking all the emotion out of all the stuff that's happened. Yeah. If we just go, okay, let's look at some unfinished business. And if I'm really thinking about not acting in two to three years, what a better way. And not just for me selfishly, but for the fans of the show. Right. Because yeah. I've felt amazing support over the years. Like we say it all the time at our shows. We wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for the fans. Right. So how amazing for, for me to be able to go back, be with people that I love. The fans will be excited, I hope. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it just feels like it just feels it feels right, man. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what to say. People are going to disagree. They're going to fight sure. about it. Right. But whatever. Right. Like, I, I, I don't the, the noise. I don't I'm not distracted by the noise. Right. I'm right. living my day, my life every day to become better. And now GH is a part of that again. So Amazing. thank you. Thank you, God. Yes. Well, OK, so you're for that last year. Yes. You know, when Beyond Salem called, that was really cool. I remember you were so excited so about cool. that. And then so that cool. be that turned into Days of Our Lives because, you know, they moved to Peacock and it was all that thing. So, yeah. I mean, to go, I, the video you posted yesterday about leaving, mm. it's clear that that place holds a special place in your heart. Obviously, it was 100%. your first job in daytime. So, like, just, yeah. you know, what are you going to take from that year plus, it, that experience? Man, it it was, there's so, like, again, there was so much emotion to it because when I was driving two days, I took the same path. My dad and I, he would drive me to all my auditions. Yeah. So I remember coming, I think I told this on our podcast. I was yeah, remember yeah, yeah. driving and going over Barham to Universal and Tainted Love came on and he had that on a mixtape <laughs> on my first day. And I was like, man, this is amazing. Like it was so emotional because, yeah. you know, that was my first, first job in daytime. Again, yeah. God bless him for hiring me. I had no idea what I was doing. It was the hair. It was, it was the golden it mullet, the bro. Hair. It was the golden mullet that had magical powers. Now I, right. the hair's off. I don't have the powers anymore. But <laughs> it was a, it was amazing to go back and like how um, how awesome to be able to go back to a place that you started daytime. Yeah, it's incredible, you know. So to be able to do that and. You know, just again, as an actor, get to explore a new character, work sure. with different actors and actresses and go down this road and, and work with Tamara and Brandon and, you know, Galen and all these people that I knew and had so much fun with and have so much respect for. It's like it was incredible, man. It was incredible. Yeah. Beyond Salem was fun because it was a short stint. Right. right. At the time, I just launched my coaching business and it was full force and it was it's it was growing and amazing. And then Marnie calls for beyond Salem, the casting director over there. And, and she's like, Hey, it's, you know, only going to be this many days. I'm like, yes, let's go. Right. That's right. Yeah. And then days moved to beyond Salem or uh, to uh, Peacock. Right. And they wanted to finish that story. There was going to be, um, there, as, as far as I know, there was going to be a beyond Salem three part three that they were going to finish the story of two. Right. So they were like, Hey, would you do a third beyond Salem? I'm like, sure. I'll do a third. Great. Right. So then it went to Peacock. So they, they got rid of the beyond three. And, and then just put it on they, the mothership. Yeah. And, then, and they said, well, you just come back and finish the story and stay and, you know, see what happens. Right. right. And I go because over there it's it's year to year anyway. There's no long contracts, all that stuff. Right. So it was uh, it was just so cool to be able to I'll be listen, man. I'll, I'm so grateful to even go back to to listen. I'm 53 years old and I'm still working like I mean, I'll always find the 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 light. <laughs> right you know what i mean like people are still calling going hey you want to work and i'm like it's this is amazing it's nice right? to be wanted so, yeah <laughs> it is nice it's right, man look it's nice to go back to be able to 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 tell a story there meet with uh, you know work with with people i've worked with before sure like some of the camera guys from y&r some of the crew from y&r from directors from gh from, yes directors yeah. from gh wardrobe yeah. from, like it's it was amazing like right, the well, and the, it was great. The people were great, so I, it's just it was awesome. Well, and there's also that term. I mean, you know, work begets work, right? Like you're making obviously there were some old relationships, you know, former relationships you had there, but you're making yeah. new relationships and you're creating, and you know, you're great in a workplace, and so like you're, you know, anyway, it's it, yeah, a, a forwarding experience, right? It wasn't like a stopgap; it was a forwarding experience. No. 100%. Yeah. And I wasn't just doing it for the money and just doing it for no. whatever reason. It was it was a, an amazing way to go back 
to a place that I started my career in 1986 or seven there. That's uh, nuts. That's crazy. So right. that was the gift. Thank you, God. That was a gift, man. Yeah. Like really, it was a it was a great time in my life to to have that job, and I'll be grateful. Ken was awesome. Everybody over there was awesome. So. Right. All right. So your first moment back at GH was you haven't filmed anything else. Like it was that, that the only thing that you filmed was that what people just saw. So you haven't been back on the set with the full crew, the full cast, like, no. So, but now I think no. everybody, everybody's got to know, like, like not everybody. Cause I've been on set in, in the last few weeks, knowing that this was probably going to happen and nobody else knew. So now everyone's going to know. So like, are you excited to like, like walk yeah, in that door and, and and, and I can't wait, man. I, I I can't wait. I can't wait to get to work. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's like, I, I it's game time now. Yes. Like I, I look at it as I'm going back and I'm going to continue to work as hard as I always work. And I'm excited to, you know, I got, I got some people I met, uh, on the set, Evan, we, Evan Hoffer, we, you oh, know, yeah, we did yeah, our yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah. I got to, I got to meet him personally real quick. Um, and he sent me an, uh, an awesome text, really nice text yesterday. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just excited to go back, man, and see what happens and see, see where the story goes and all these things that everybody's going to talk about and speculate about. And I have no idea, by the way, and I really don't even know my start date. Well, that's, so, that, that was the other thing I was yeah, like, yeah. right. It could be later this month. Could be, who knows when it's going to be. It, yeah, it, it could be. I, I really haven't had a lot of communication after, well, you know, before, like it was top secret, get to the thing. And, and then the holidays know, shoot happen. this and then the holidays. So, you know, and I haven't really had any communication, so I don't know what my exact start date, right. um, but could be end of this month, could be beginning of next month. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll be ready. Well, the funny oh, thing, so what I was going to say, what I was going to say yeah. was, you know, um, when the wardrobe called, uh, Oh, they, they did call. Oh, for the, for the thing, <laughs> for the primetime special. Yeah, Sean there called and I'm like, They're what's like, up, Shawnee Sean? He's, he's like, like, oh, I've missed you, missed you saying that size? to me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what are we doing? I go, just give me the jacket. That's yes. all I want. That's yes. it. So they brought the jacket in and the t-shirts and and uh, it's good. It's always, did you have a, it always did you feels have a good fitting? to put that jacket on. Did Or did, did it just well, fit, I have, did I have it fit two like to a choose glove? From. I have two different sizes to choose from. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Amazing. You know. Um, but, so uh, it, it, it if you were going to say, uh, which character, well, I mean, we'll see what storyline dictates, but which character are you most excited to hug? Sonny or Spinelli? <laughs> You're so dumb. Okay. Maybe Carly, you got a lot of people, you yeah. got a lot of hugging to do. On I camera, got a lot bro. of hugging to you do got a lot of hugging to do. I got to hug. I got to hug my mom. That's Where's right. mom. I got to see. Oh mom. yeah. You know, so yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be cool, man. I'm sure yeah. they're coming up with something great. I, you know, right. They have, it has to, it has to happen. I mean, this well, is, yeah. is going to be cool. Um, so, I mean, but in, in that vein, like if I, I should, I, what I should do is we should reenact hmm. when Jason first turned, when I first turned to Jason Morgan, I drove through the quarter main den on I, the dirt, on the dirt bike to rebel. Do that. So I should just ride through Sonny's wall and I'll Can Harley. I be in can I be in the sidecar? You know, the sidecar <laughs> takes the cool factor out. Oh. Is it is it is it, is it the sidecar or what's in the sidecar? <laughs> yeah. It's the sidecar. It's not what's in the sidecar. I'll wear a really cool helmet. <laughs> One of those ones that's a mirror where I don't see who it is. Oh, yeah, like Daft the Punk. reveal. Yeah, that'd be cool. They're like, who's the, who's in the sidecar? You're like Oh, it's a jackal. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, all right. Well, I mean, obviously you don't know what's going to happen because you haven't seen any scripts. No. But I mean, if you were to, if like thinking about these next few years, what do, what do you hope this next chapter holds for Jason and for, for yourself, for Steve? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know look, you're going to work I, your butt off, but beyond that, like. Yeah. I mean, look, it's hard. It's so hard because people ask this stuff of us all the time. Because oh, yeah. Being on a show for 30 years, 20 years, 25 years, whatever it is, how many stories can we tell? Well, pretty right? soon Jason's so, going to be a grandpa, so there, there's that. <laughs> is this interview over? Is there a press person here? Who is this guy? <laughs> what? That's, that's going to happen soon. I mean, you get, a bunch, you get some kids out there. They're rapidly aging. 
they're gonna have kids come it's on just, man is this really like i'm coming back as a grandpa that's what I, we're doing here not, not yet hospital? not yet but it's here bound to happen grandpa jason still <laughs> wearing the leather jacket <laughs> <laughs> no man no grandpa jason is not happening bro. okay okay all right <laughs> I think that can I put that in my contract? Hold on, let me. Eat yeah, yeah, right now. Right, uh, no, 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 next generation for Jason's kids just yet. Yeah. Um, Look, I just hope you know. I hope I get to do. I don't know. I think it's always going to be something. I think pretty emotional coming back. Usually, sure. You know, so yeah. that's all I can. I guess hope for right um, opportunities to do fun, fun and challenging material, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's interesting because when I left in 12 and came back. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like, because I went and, 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 and worked on YNR and did a, you know, played a different character, which I always talk about. It's not, right. you know, he wore blue it, shirts it and worked in a coffee shop. I did. Right. <laughs> but, but with Dylan at the time, I was able to be more, throw more of my personality in. Right. You know, right, as, right, right. as Steve. So that's why I always say, you know, yeah, I, maybe I'm a good actor, but don't give me any character stuff because I'm not going down that road yet. But when when I came back in twelve, I actually had to watch all you. Oh, I've told you told you yeah. told you this before, but we just touch on it real quick. All old YouTube stuff, right? Right, just uh, to kind of get go, just to get back in and not be so. Hey guys, what's going on? You want to double? Yeah, right, when you came back in, you know? when you came back in eighteen, you mean? Yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah eighteen. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When eighteen, yeah. So, um. So it's going to be interesting, you know, the backstory of what's happened this last couple years, right? Right. What and what the actual is that, Right, because there was Russia Clinic, you? there was Russia Clinic. And so right, there was that Russia was, Clinic, yes. So what what it has been That was pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Patient 6 was interesting. Yeah. And so, so what it, what what is ha what has transpired between 21 and yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, and and how does that affect how did that affect Jason moving forward? How much more damage and, can that man take? Well, I think it's actually great. Yeah. You know? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I, I'll talk to the writers. I'll see what's going on just to see yeah. where 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 we're starting. Maybe they have a little bit of an idea where we're going. So I can, you know, that's the beauty of soap operas. Sometimes you do have a bit of an arc where they can go, "Hey," which I'm sure, with with me with me coming back, I'm sure yeah. they've talked about the next couple months. Sure. And it's like, you know, okay, so this is where where we're going. Here's where you are, and then I can go, okay, so now let me just build this thing, right? Like we're ab able to do, you know, uh, on a soap opera as as an actor, which is wonderful for us. Well, yeah, you get a new beginning. And in and, and a new on a new branch from the tree, right? Like you, that's the cool thing about the storytelling that we do. Yes, is you can start yeah. that branch, and then yeah. you can really kind of follow it where it leads, where it wants to grow. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Listen, that's and that's so cool. So cool. Listen, coming back. Hopefully, you get back with Maxi, and the world will be okay. Just where it was always meant to be. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, buddy. I, I know, right? It was that easy. I know. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is people always, you know, uh, long for their characters to be happy and then and then they get boring. So, um, yeah. so I, I, for you, I wish moments of elation and pure happiness mm. and then you, sustained periods of troublesome sorrow. Oh, wait, hold on. I was, I liked the first part of that. The second part, dude, I don't want to be troubled anymore. Dude, grandpas can't be troubled. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing to me, bro? You don't want to see old grandpa Jason on the park bench crying, do you? you sad man, you. Giving out candy to kids. Uh, hey, whoa. Um, all right, so last thing. I mean, yeah. since, since 2012. Is this really the last thing? I think so. Well, I mean, since... It, since I've known you, it's been GH, then YNR, then GH, then Days, now GH again. Yeah. Do I have to start watching B and B just as a prep? Like <laughs> just, in case, just in case. Just in case. No. no, no. You're not gonna try to set any records here. I'm not sure. I'm not setting any records, bro. 
I don't want to set any records. I'm not trying to set records. Well, I mean, the the records that I know that are being set are like uh, Ken Schreiner and, and and Leslie. I don't and I don't think I I don't think you could live long Which enough. Records to get, are those? How many years playing the same character? Like, I mean, yeah, Ken's true. been. I think I think it's it's, it's either, I think it is Ken. It's gotta, four, it's gotta be forty. Yeah. Or more. So I don't know. I, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm not, I'm, dude. I don't even know these these years. I. People could tell me how long I've been on the show. I have no idea. Bro. Right. It's just stop like counting. I've been gone back and forth and right. it's just, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so, it's, well, it's amazing to to have the opportunity uh, to come back. And, you know, again, thanks to all the fans for all of their support throughout the years. You know, the one reason Brad and I love going on the road is because we get to do fun things. Yes. Uh, but we get to meet fans. and I And I've said it before, but I just want to say it again. You know, we get to meet our 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 genre is different in the sense that we meet generations of fans, generations of fans that this story of General Hospital and others and other soaps was passed down generation to generation. Right. And nothing's cooler for us than when people come and we meet four generations. Yeah. Of well, fa- uh, of a family, they go. She started it. Right. And she's it's always she's it's always grandma's going, fault. Yeah, I did it. And grandma's fault. grandma's fault. And then the kids and then the and then the and then the younger ones now. I mean, it's yeah. crazy. So yeah, we're it's so fun. grateful to it's have fun that to take those family pictures where there's like eight to ten people and it's three generations. And yeah, it's something that so they've cool. it's been a part of their life. And the cool thing is it's you know, it's obviously been a huge part of our life. It's changed our life. And 100%. the fact that everybody that watches whether it's GH or whether it's another show, anybody that watches the daytime show it has been a part of their life in a way that other entertainment might come and go, but this is a constant. Mm -hmm. It's a constant. And there's something so cool about that. And, um, and it's a roller coaster, (laughs) right? (laughs) You know what I mean? Yes. Like, like people have been watching the show for 50, 60 years and they're like, Oh boy, where are we going now? Here it comes. Oh yeah. You know, and there's always some, yeah, there's always, there's always, something to something to get excited about or get frustrated with or know. you know that's the whole that's the whole point so thank you for being yeah. on the roller coaster of story and of yeah and of circumstance with us yeah so but totally. it is so, it's so great to have you back man this is yeah so, man. this is uh this is really cool i'm so. so happy for you i'm selfishly excited for me and the fun <laughs> things that we're going to get to do because of it and um and uh it's just uh feels good just yeah, right. it does feel good. And and let us just say this since, you know, uh, people are watching. Uh, we're grateful to Daily Drama, you know, that they gave us a home for our podcast. Right. Um, a lot of times we have guests. A lot of times it's just us doing right. this. Right. Um, which is totally cool. And, Lovely. And we love and we love doing it. So, yeah. you know, we thank we thank them for the uh, providing the platform that we get to do something like this. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And thank right. you, Brad. I appreciate you, man. Uh, yeah. I know we've been, you've been on this ride with me, you know, and it's like dur- during life, when, when adversity hits, you really do know who your friends are. So thank you, brother. I love thank you. Thank you, man. Love you too, buddy. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for watching. And man, I, I've always said, keep tuning in because there's exciting stuff happening, but now you can really believe me. <laughs> this guy manifested this. <laughs> I keep pointing at Wait, where is he? This guy manifested the whole thing. He kept saying it as soon as I was gone. I manifested like, it. You're coming feels, back. It just feels, and, it feels, it feels, yeah. 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 So, anyway. All right. You guys are awesome. Thank you.